That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Hello, my name is Lilian. I'm the creator of Paintings for Blind People. And mainly what I do is when I made an exhibition, I try to create awareness on the people that have sight so they can understand how hard it is to be blind. So I let the people see my paintings and then I blind them and I let them touch my paintings. In order, so let me see, can you see my paintings? This is what blind people see. Blind people cannot see anything and we don't wear their shoes. But I created a system and some kind of paintings that the people with low vision, this is what they see. The people with low vision, they can, it's people that is legally blind, but uh, when they see my paintings, they managed to see the brightness of the painting. They managed to see the, can you see it? This is how people that are legally blind and have a little bit of vision, that's what they can see. So it is, as you can see, it's very hard to try to see how blind people see. And for the people with sight, it's, this is how they can see my paintings. I just wish blind people could see them, but in order for the blind people to understand and see my paintings, what I did, I created a language of textures. As you can see here, I have different textures. So the blind people touch the texture, they read in braille according to the country where they are presented, and people with sight can read the meaning. So blind people touch it, get acquainted with the texture, and then when they go to see my paintings with their hands, they can understand. But like, for example, happiness, it feels like silk. It gives you a nice, certain feeling. But pain is like rose thorns. So it creates pain. Like desperation gives you the bad willies in your body. The anxiety makes you feel anxious. So that's how blind people can leave the paintings through their hands and through their soul. So when I present one of my paintings, that's how I do it. There's the painting and there's the code. So blind people come and touch the painting and they can feel all the emotions. Like for example, this is called Jimena. It's the Kutsi of Michoacan, which means this daughter of the sun. But the like in this case, it talks about the legend of the moon, which is a girl that her father, in order to keep her isolated from any any damage, any pain, he sent her to the moon to leave. But she's there by herself. So if you can see, she's surrounded by pain, by loneliness, by strange feelings because she's there by herself. So blind people can leave her pain when they touch it. That is amazing. Yeah, so that's how I do it. I like, uh, for example, this one, you can see it's a big eye and blind people can feel the iris. They can feel the veins and everything that is inside an eye. They can feel the eyelashes so they see the eyelashes but also the lid and the eyebrows they have different textures like for example in this one it is the texture of honesty 
it's a very cold eye for the people that can see because it's just in black and blues but it talks about that no matter how much pain you have you can still be honest you can still have success because that's up to you so you see i have different sounds all different textures mm -hmm. and that's what blind people leave through their hands and what happens when people with sight see my paintings they they cry because they get to understand how hard it is for a blind person try to figure out for example the sun can you imagine if you close your eyes and you try to see the sun and with this man that is represent the sun it would be very hard the blind people they learn to feel and live through their hands people have asked me why do i do it like one painting like this might take me two months mm -hmm. because all the textures they require a long time to get the right consistency that they give you the feeling in your hand so you can feel the pain you can feel the happiness you can feel the desperation when you touch them so why do i do it because i think that blind people have the right to enjoy art that is not fair that we tell a blind person look this one is beautiful or this tree is beautiful and they cannot feel a whole tree they just have an idea and when i paint them they can see how exactly the moon is they can see the craters they can see all the holes and mountains in the moon and that gives them a sensation that somebody cares about them so that's for me my main job that blind people enjoy art and they know that someone cares about them and that as long as i can i'm going to be advocating for the blind people and my paintings normally i don't sell them normally i donate them so charities different charities or foundations they they can sell them in order to raise money for blind people for elderly people homeless kids kids with cancer because i think that art is beautiful but if you don't give a meaning to art you don't give a use to the art all those feelings that an artist put into a painting or into a sculpture or whatever they're worthless so we should use our feelings our art our empathy or our courage or whatever to help someone to help others so that's in very brief what i do